Hey, so I hope everyone's well. As you can tell from the title, today I'm going to be having a little chat about my favourite places to go charity shopping or secondhand shopping or thrifting, whatever you call it, um, in Edinburgh. And this was requested by someone on my last video um, and also I, it was something I've been thinking about doing for a while. So yeah, this video is going to be divided into two halves. Um, the first half is going to be talking about my favourite vintage shops and then the second half is going to be talking about great areas in Edinburgh for charity shop shopping. It's hard to say. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. So number one on the list is one of the best places I can think of is Armstrong's. And if you're local, I'm sure you already know about this place. Um, they have three shops, I believe, in Old Town. They have one in the Grass Market. Um, they have one quite near the university. Um, I can't remember the street's name, but I'll link everything down below. And they've also got one on Nicholson Street. So, and the great thing about vintage shopping is, obviously the stuff in each shop is not identical. So you could easily go to all three shops in one day and pick up different things from every shop. Um, yeah, so I would recommend popping into Armstrong's and to be honest, I really like the layout of their shops as well. Um, it's just really quirky, especially the one in the grass market. If you have time to visit that one, I would highly recommend that one in particular because I think it's the, the biggest out of all three and it's also the quirkiest. There's just different things decorating the shop that's really fun. I, I filmed some footage and I'm just going to insert it. Second on the list is a place called Herman Brown. And I only discovered this because I was heading to Love Crumbs, which is just right next door. And if you haven't been to Love Crumbs as well, definitely pop in. It might be good fun to go to Herman Brown and then pop into Love Crumbs for a cuppa and some cake. But Herman Brown is just a really small little shop and quite reasonably priced, I think. Number three is Godiva. Um, they have, it's, I think their shop is split into two halves, so the front half is more, um, maybe, I'm trying to think what's the right word, like re-loved pieces or new pieces that look vintage, and back of the shop is pieces that are properly vintage or second-hand clothing, and yeah, I quite like popping in there from time to time to have a look at Okay, so the next half of the video, as I mentioned, is going to be the charity shop areas that I like popping to if I'm just in the mood for some second-hand shopping. So one of my favourite places is Stockbridge. So that's definitely number one on my list because I think that an outing to Stockbridge, you could just spend the whole day there, you could have your lunch and go and have a couple as well later. And there's also so many great independent shops in Stockbridge that you could just spend the whole day there. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. My favourite thing about Stockbridge is the amount of charity shops that they have. Off the top of my head, my favourite one is Shelter. They also have a really quirky interior. And they always have really funky music playing, usually some kind of classical or orchestra or jazz or something. So I really like the vibe of that shop. Definitely my favourite. If you only have time to visit one in Stockbridge, definitely Shelter, I would say. Oh, another thing that's really good about Stockbridge is because it's quite an affluent area, the stuff that's in the charity shops tends to be quite of quite good quality and quite reasonable as well. So that's a little pro tip for you. <laughs> um, so moving on, the second place would be Nicholson, I think. Um, they definitely don't, because it's a studenty area, I guess they don't have as great quality clothes as Stockbridge might have. But there's just lots on Nicholson Street and there's cafes interspliced between them. So you could easily visit like three charity shops, pop into a cafe and then do another three. There's just plenty on that road. The third place, I would say, is the sort of Brunsfield Morningside area. And there aren't too many in Brunsfield, I think maybe perhaps one or two. But Morningside, there is quite a few. And because that's also quite an affluent area, you tend to get quite nice pieces as well. It's just, it's a bit like Stockbridge. I, if I had to pick between Stockbridge and Morningside, I would gravitate towards Stockbridge. Um, but Morningside is also a great place um, to visit. Okay, so the last place on this list is a little bit of an honorary mention because it isn't quite a vintage shop and it's not a charity shop either but I think that the treasure trove
Trove definitely um, warrants a shout out. Treasure Trove basically allows people who enjoy making crafts, whether that be knitting or like selling jam or there's a bunch of other things that they do, especially around Christmas time. I've got quite a few really nice felt Christmas ornaments from there. So I definitely recommend popping in there um, just because it's nice to support people who um, it's their own handmade products. And I think that's the end of the video as far as I know. That are all the places, those are all the places that are my personal favourites. No doubt there are other areas where you can do charity shop shopping or other vintage shops in Edinburgh. Um, but those are just my personal favourites. But if you have any tips where to go secondhand shopping in Edinburgh that I haven't mentioned in this video, please leave them down below because I would definitely be interested in um, visiting some new shops. Um, it might not be great for my, <laughs> my budget or my savings at the moment, but... <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, if you could give it a thumbs up, that would be really helpful. And subscribe if you want more videos. I post, I try and post once or twice a week. And if you also have any recommendations for future videos, then please do leave them down below as well. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.